What's up everyone? This is B-Boy Tips for Forgotten Style Screw Funky Surfbots. My Twitter is It's All Skill. This is a brute force save data tutorial. We're going to be modifying our PS3 saves and applying cheats to them. For this tutorial, we'll be using all those PS3 tools. Once you have installed all those PS3 save tools, you can go ahead and launch brute force save data. And also you can use PS3 Tools menu, GUI, and we'll also be using other utilities from all those PS3 save tools. Let's begin with the initializing steps of Boot for Save Data. First, we're going to create our profile. So you select Profile and Boot for Save Data. So we can go to set profile, configure profiles, and then set pram.sfo for profile one. Go into your save data folder on the computer and find pram or pram.sfo. Create a name for your profile. We'll go with my PS3 for our default profile. Next, we're going to go into set profile global settings then open params.sfo editor in params.sfo editor click the folder button and open your save data's params.sfo click on the down arrow at params.sfo editor and go to params user id and copy that user id into global settings of group 4 save data. Next, go back to PowerRams.SFO and go to the down arrow again and go to PowerRams PSID and copy the PSID in brute force under console ID. Now we have finished the initial setup for brute force save data. The next step is to decrypt our save data. And to do that, we will need to have a PS3 with a CF w or ps3 hen you're gonna need a homebrew app like multi-man to go into your ps3's hard drive and inside of the ps3 hard drive you'll go to a folder called game and inside of there we'll have the game's id so we'll go to the dev underscore hard drive forward slash game and then forward slash to the game's ID. In this case, the game ID for me would be for Castlevania Harmony Despair. Once you found your game, go into the folder USRDIR, and inside of that folder, you will find a file called eboot.bin. Press circle and then copy to clipboard in multiband. Then place a USB flash drive with a supported format of FAT32 and you can go ahead and copy that eboot.bin file to your USB. To copy, we'll go to our PS3 root again and we'll go to dev underscore USB 000 and here we can create a new folder. We're going to title this folder CV. create a folder titled CV into the root of our USB and inside of there we can paste the eboot.bin file for Castlevania of Harmony of Despair or your eboot.bin file. This will then copy it to your USB. Now go back to your PC with your USB and go ahead and copy your eboot.bin file to your PC. Now, get ready to go back to your PS3 Tools menu and go into the Brute Force Tools and open SCE Tools GUI. This will decrypt your eboot.bin file to eboot.elf. Go ahead and browse the files and find your eboot.bin file. Select it inside of the GUI and hit decrypt. This will then give you a new file that is an eboot.elf. And you can use this to brute force your save data for Castlevania Harmony of the Spell. Using your .elf file, you can now decrypt your save file and 
supply cheats. For my game, Castlevania of Harmony Despair, these are all the cheats that are available for my game. I'm just gonna go ahead and check and select all cheats that I have for my game, game Castlevania Despair, and then encrypt my save again. This should complete the process of applying all the cheats that I want for my save file. Now we can copy the save data to a USB. We can now move back to the PS3, go to Save Data Utility, then USB Device, go to your game Save Data, press Triangle, press Copy, and this will copy from the USB to the PS3 hard drive. We're going to be launching the game now, so I'm going to show you a few of the cheats that I applied with brute force save data for Castlevania Harmony of Despair. So now we're going to go to local play and I'm going to go to status menu so I can show you how much gold I have and how much weapons and armor I have with this modified save. I also included the DLC characters to have better stats and abilities as well too. So as you can see, Soma has his offensive and defensive gear, like a bad man wave plus one and a Kaiser Knuckle plus one. And like I mentioned as well earlier too, that this works for the DLC characters too. So characters like Simon, that need to level up their sword weapons depending on how many uses, will be maxed out as well too. And his vampire killer will be all the way till its maximum power. I'm going to go ahead and jump into a stage to show you Simon so you can see that the cheat is working flawlessly. So there's Simon and there's his vampire killer maxed out as well as his sub weapons. So this concludes my tutorial on how to use brute force save data for PS3 on B-Boy Tips for Forgotten Style Screw Funky Surfbox. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck gaming everybody and I'll see you guys later. You guys know the deal. Peace.